Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome, my Scorpio friends and friends of Scorpio. This is the Divine Phoenix Rising Tarot, and hey, I'm Zachary. Thank you guys for joining me here, and welcome to my table. So, Scorpio, hello, hello. I missed you guys. Thank you so much for your patience as I'm getting getting back on track here. Um, so, starting with meditation here, uh, there were a couple of oracle cards pulled, and then we'll move into the tarot for your messages, as we do. Um, and then I do also have extendeds if you guys are interested in joining me for after, after the general. So <clears throat> sitting down here, first of all, <laughs> um, I was delayed here a couple of days well, yesterday and then throughout most of today, because there was surprise construction. Um, they were tearing up the concrete here <laughs> where I live and re, uh, re pouring concrete. So I literally could not record anything. I couldn't even sit down to meditate to try to pull a message. I had to uh, kind of leave the house. So very interesting to start um, this very like raucous, distracting kind of energy. And I feel like maybe you guys are experiencing that yourself, um, something that's kind of pulling away from the main theme or the main um, uh, experience that you're experiencing right now. So getting into this in your meditation, a lot of things came through. As soon as I sat down, it was just like, bah, like spirit just had a lot to say. Um, to start, I felt it felt like somebody touched my left Achilles tendon. So um, it didn't hurt or anything like that. It was just being highlighted the left Achilles tendon. So the left side, left leg, left side is the uh, divine feminine, is the mother. So there could be something going on. Um, with your own mother um, and you, maybe your mother yourself. Um, but having the Achilles tendon highlighted, what was coming through for me was something about like weakness, you know, an Achilles, an Achilles heel of swords. Um, because it was actually um, a rather warm and comfortable feeling. When I think about anybody touching my <laughs> Achilles tendon, it makes it just makes me want to jump out of my skin. Usually it's a very uncomfortable gross feeling. Um, so what I'm getting is like some support, warmth, maybe even healing over these parts of you that especially recently you've been feeling are kind of your weakness. Um, love that. There's a lot of bits here, like I said, so we'll get through this and then get into the message here. Um, I was shown a white and a black swan too. So they were floating next to each other. Then they came together and made this heart with their necks. Um, divine masculine, divine feminine, certainly coming through their protection. I'm feeling with the swans, especially I'm kind of getting that there's something, there's this transition that is either happening now or will be happening soon for you guys where you are, um, like you're being protected on this mission or on this, um, destiny. Interesting. What it, whatever it is you're experiencing right now, I feel like you're moving to your destiny these pieces are coming together um, to form like this whole heart, this warm experience. Back to the warmth with the Achilles tendon. I just feel like there's comfort coming for you guys, okay? <clears throat> so the next thing that I was shown was a first quarter moon. Um, so between the new moon and the first quarter moon, and then a Gemini symbol over the top of it. So um, what I got from that actually is um, a need to make some decisions or take action, especially in the form of communication. I feel like you guys are in this place where something like something is ready to bloom. You, you're ready to bloom. But there is um, uh, there are some decisions or some action that still needs to be made or needs to take place. Next, <laughs> I was shown the number 33, and that actually popped through a few times. There was even some echoes as I was searching for some of these meanings online. Um, so I feel like the number 33 has been, is important for you guys at this time, which symbolizes like um, promoting others or, or, help, or promoting harmony and helping others, unity. There's, it is a master number in numerology. I just feel like things are coming together. Like I said, there's harmony or there's union coming soon for you guys okay um the next thing and this was interesting i've never actually heard this idiom before but i was told um break the back of the beast and i googled that because i was like i don't i don't know what that means at all i wasn't expecting that it was an idiom but it is and it means um uh to accomplish or to finish something that's challenging 
So again, like I said, I feel like you guys are, something great is coming because of the work that you've been putting into something. Because of the um, work you've been putting into galvanizing where you have weaknesses, using your weaknesses to your, to your uh, benefit, okay? So next thing I saw, <laughs> lots of things here, like I said, I was shown a heron um, and the concepts of like persistence and transition are what stood out to me throughout the different cultures, especially that was kind of a common theme. Good luck. I feel like there are good things coming for you guys. And based on the Oracle cards that came through too, I feel good about this. I feel good about this. I think you should too. Next I was shown, um, it was this pine cone shape or a pine cone that had fiber optic color on the edges of it. So very like kind of looked like bioluminescence. It makes me think of the pineal gland with a pine cone um, or a form of protection as well. Like pine cones need to be burned in order for the seed or its ability to grow a new tree to happen. Um, and I feel like that may be what you guys are going through, have gone through this process of like a forest fire that's happened and now you're ready to grow. Okay, <laughs> I think I got it all. Yes, all right, so let's move forward here into, that was a long one, thanks for hanging in there with me, you guys. Um, the Blue Angel Oracle, so I was, I was led to draw two cards here, so let's talk about it, and I feel encouraged to read this from the book as well, they're both pretty short. So grace and gratitude is what came out for you guys first. And grace and gratitude is about release. So release frustration and anger and express the love and light that you truly are. You are a beautiful soul. Yes, you are. A beautiful friend, loved by so many. Why cloud this love? Let the real you shine through. Be grateful for your life and the many blessings you receive each day. Gratitude will lead you to peace and peace will lead you to abundance and joy. Focus on the good in your life and everything else will fall into place. Beyond thought, there is a knowing that embraces all knowledge, a knowing that does not divide nor keep one truth from another. Within this knowing, you will find all that you thought was missing. Within this knowing, you will rediscover your beautiful soul. So I breathe out all my frustration and anger and breathe in the light and love of my soul. In peace, there is wisdom. I am peace. I am wisdom. All is well. All is well, you guys. All is well. All is well. Um, fertility is actually the next one that came out. And um, I have had this deck for a minute and I've actually never pulled this one. I haven't pulled it yet. So love to see this. Fertility, fruitful harvest. Yay. <laughs> you have entered a fertile period through which you will give birth to something beautiful. This card signifies a physical or spiritual birth or both. Whatever you now focus on, you create and give birth to. You have tended and nourished the field. The earth is fertile and you will reap a great harvest from what is sown. This is a time of prosperity and creativity, a time to thank Mother Earth for her many blessings. It is a time to reflect on life cycles and the inherent wisdom of death and rebirth, which is you, Scorpio, my Pluto friends. <laughs> a time to honor the ancestors, thank the past and embrace your golden future. It is a time to honor your sacred earth. As the moon fills the night with silver light, so she, the earth, fills your dreams with light. Feel her in your heart, loving and supporting you. All is through her loving nature. Um, so I do feel a very strong connection to uh, Mother Earth, especially. Uh, she's a pretty big deal, right? I am just getting, if you're, not, if you're not actively connecting with her, too, even on a daily basis, um, there's an encouragement to step into that. You are on fertile ground right now. And I'm getting um, with, like, how severe the shift is from where you've been to whatever's coming next this fruitful harvest you need some support here from from our mother and she can support you um i've actually recently been doing a bit more grounding actually going outside for 30 minutes at a time putting my feet in the in the dirt um i got a grounding mat too for my bed um and i'll tell you guys like i highly encourage it it's done wonders for um my back pain and stuff that I've had. My skin too has been getting better. There is absolutely some, and there's a lot of scientific evidence too. There is something about making that connection to our mother. We have rubber on our soles. If you're just wearing shoes everywhere you go, you're not connecting with her. Give it a go. Okay, so let's get into your tarot reading. 10 minutes in here. Thanks for hanging in there, you guys. <laughs> um, so this is the untamed tarot we're gonna start with here for Scorpio, please. Spirit, what is going on for Scorpio? Scorpio, Scorpio. 
Um, huge shout out to my channel members. You guys, hello. Thank you for your love and support. If you're interested in becoming a channel member yourself, there is a join button right next to the subscribe. Hit the subscribe if you hadn't already. Uh, link in the description as well. And while you're there, you can check out my website. I do have personal readings open currently. Um, if you want to scoop one of those up, feel free. So let's get into it here. Justice here at the bottom. Cool. So this is your hope, hopes and dreams. Um, I do feel like there is this greater desire for balance and fairness. Um, the energy that I'm getting from the meditation to the message that's coming forward here, the Achilles tendon or the Achilles heel is what is standing out too. Like I'm getting this vibe of, um, uh, well, fear is what's popping out. That's interesting. We'll see what comes through in the fear pile. But like, um, you're, you hate your weaknesses, right? You're wanting for there to be something a bit, maybe you don't feel like where you do have weak spots is fair. Maybe you're comparing yourself to other people's situations and feeling like someone else got the better end of the stick <laughs> as far as weaknesses go. Um, maybe some of you are, I am kind of getting legal something coming through. Maybe some of you are in the process of, um, could be marriage, divorce, something business wise. I don't really get anything like super at risk, just, um, wanting to be out of that energy, hoping for a positive outcome. Mm -hmm. So this is the light seers tarot. We'll move into for your second deck spirit. What do we have here for Scorpio? Ace of cups just fell out there. Um, heart is something that's been coming through here as well. I'm feeling like it's really important for you guys to connect with um, our mother's heart, that grand heart, the first portal into the divine heart. Okay. Thank you, Spirit. Um, this is a general message, you guys, so please keep that in mind. Please use your head, heart, and intuition to decipher which messages are for you. You are extremely intelligent and a powerful co-creator here. Please remember that. And feel free to check out your ri um, rising moon, Venus, any other major placements in your chart for additional messages surrounding your journey. Speaking of journeys, so six of swords here at the bottom. This is your um, fear aversion. I do feel like there is some apprehension here to towards uh, moving, moving forward, transitioning through something. I kind of get whatever this crap is that you guys have been through, it's been... Um, one long hangover is what I hear. It's just been persistent. And I feel like it's been going on for so long, testing your patience, your faith, your hope, um, that maybe you're feeling a bit lost or you're a bit um, confused or nervous to let go of certain things so that you can make this transition. Almost like um, you're getting this feeling that something else needs to be released. That's coming through with grace and gratitude release. Um, but you're like, what now? <laughs> what is, what is it even now? <laughs> There's a fear towards letting something else go because whatever it is that you do still have remaining has been providing you some semblance of security and support. I do feel like it's safe to let go you guys. Okay. You're in fertile ground. All right, let's get into this. So yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> you're general to start here. You guys have the chariot. So the chariot is um, positive forward movement, but this progress doesn't come without its challenges. So you guys are um, moving from this magician energy, from the will to create something into doing the damn thing. You're ready to do it. Um, like I said here with the fear, I, I am getting this concern over maybe leaving something else behind in order to achieve what it is that you've been pursuing, or maybe you don't know exactly where it is that you want to go. So you're just feeling kind of lost and floaty in general. I am getting an encouragement for courage, to take courage, to have faith. The rider on the chariot is um, in a state of faith and courage. They know that they're being moved even though they can't really explain how all the time. So I feel like Becoming a champion, interesting. And this is your, hmm. It's your turn to win in the arena, interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's your turn, I'm here for it, Scorpio. I'm here for it. 
Uh, Queen of Pentacles comes in here next for your general energy. I feel like this is a time for choices. That was coming through in the meditation with the first quarter moon and uh, the Gemini symbol. A need to, to really like firm up what the hell you want. <laughs> what direction that you want to go, or at least like what you want to feel and getting, getting really clear on that, that this is a really strong earth energy too. So I am brought back to this, um, fertility component and connecting with the mother, but choices in particular, there is a need to continue to choose you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Choose you, boo boo. <laughs> choose you Pikachu. Okay. All right, let's keep going here. The good stuff for my Scorpio friends. <laughs> Yay. I do feel like you guys are um, really, really highlighted in a positive way, even though things may not feel positive right this second. It's like... Um, I'm getting this, exa like, skin sloughing off, like... Um, Something that has been uncomfortable, itching, pain, burning, I'm getting kind of with the skin, which can, which can be like frustration and anger coming to the surface as well, which came through with release and grace and gratitude. Maybe you are experiencing something going on with the skin. But anywho, um, I'm just seeing that changing. Like there's, a, there's something that clicks inside of you where you're realizing that uh, maybe you are holding on to something and you didn't, you thought that you had let it go, or there is just something that you haven't quite put your finger on that is there that needs to be released. This is coming up for clarity for you guys right now. So in your good stuff, you have death to land the plane there. Um, your card, Scorpio, death, transformation, major transformation, death and rebirth. Um, and that came through in the fertility card too. So I just feel like spirit is really nodding to your energy in general right now. Um, like that Pluto, that Pluto energy, as it comes through with death, it, it illuminates, right? What maybe needs to be released, what needs to be prepared to, to be released, to let go of. Um, and then we let go of it and then we, we transition through that tunnel. And that's kind of where, um, like this fear here, this is happening. I feel like you guys are being invited to take a step through here. This is the optimal outcome. Um, being in your good stuff here, but I do feel there's a little bit of apprehension towards it. But you'll find your strength. I know you will, Scorpio, because you're a badass. Because <laughs> you're a badass. So Ace of Pentacles comes through here next, too, for your good stuff. Yay! So Ace of Pentacles, like, opportunities abound in the material realm. Could be a new job, could be, um, like, an opt optimized job, is what I'm hearing. Interesting. A better pay structure. Um, could uh, be return on investments. Maybe you're getting a, a tip to make investments if that's the place that you're at in your life. Something tipping in your favor, kind of back to the scales of justice here, something tipping in your favor in the material realm. And this card in particular in this deck, they've got the roots coming down from the Ace of Pentacles. So I am getting um, drawn back to this earth energy again. You guys are really grounding down into a new experience, but you have to make the choice to do this too. Like no one's, no one's forcing you to do this. And I think the difficult part, like we'll get to the challenge, but the most difficult part about all of that is that you're tired. I'm getting like, like this same old song and dance, fool me once, fool me twice. Hmm. Interesting. Almost like maybe you're feeling like you're being, um, being nagged by the universe. You're being gaslit. You're being led on. Um, this is how you feel. You're not being led on. What I'm getting is that um, the intricacies you don't know. Okay, there are there are components behind the scenes always that we're not um, either. It's not possible for us to be aware of, or it's just not our job to be aware of. And um, whatever has been shifting in your life here in the past losses potentially, um, health issues is something that kind of comes up too. These are all things I'm getting that are, are setting this path for you to move forward in a perfect way. Interesting. Perfection doesn't exist. I tell that to Scorpio. 
Scorpio's perfect already, right? <laughs> We're all perfect. <laughs> oh, shedding skin into perfection, okay? Awesome, let's keep moving forward. So what you don't see here in the dark, um, what's, what's coming for you underlying message here? You have Queen of Cups. So um, Queen of Cups is, you have, yeah, I've got several queens here, very much getting that mother, this goddess, divine, feminine energy. There's something about, um, okay, let's get into that. We'll get back to this. So there is like, it's this, this like protection quality of the emotions that's coming through the Queen of Cups. She's very nurturing, loving, intuitive, very similar to the Empress. Um, but this quality of like protection is coming through. So a lot of the times as humans here, we all have this need for a receptacle, let's say for a, for an energy that has the capability for deep receptivity. And a lot of the times we will try to, uh, engage with that need finding that connection in others, in parents, in partners, in children, in friends. Um, and I don't think that we know that we're doing this a lot of the time until we do. That craving that we're looking for, that place to receive, that is our Mother Earth. And she is the only one that is capable of receiving to the degree that she does. So I'm just getting like, like what are you, what are you waiting for? Thanks, Spirit. What are you waiting for? What, where is there apprehension or where are you feeling tentative to connect if you are? If you're already doing it, like, good on you. I feel like you're one step ahead and feeling grounded and more whole. If you're not, um, what is preventing you from making that a common practice? For me, to be honest with you, like, I feel like it took me so long to make it a, a common thing because I think a lot of the times we our issues whatever is going on wherever we need the reasons why we need a deep receptacle can feel really complex and heavy and um the human ego wants something just as complex and heavy as far as a solution and sometimes certain solutions are easy um, so for me, I know it was that in my brain, I was like, I know, like I knew the, even the science behind it. You can look it up, earthing, grounding. It's been studied a lot. Um, but I wasn't really like allowing myself to participate in that because I'm like, well, what is it going to, what difference is it going to make a whole heck of a heap? You guys, <laughs> it makes a big difference. So, um, let down your guard and allow yourself to be received and i feel like this is something that because we all we're all working to heal the divine feminine we all have more issues receiving than we do giving i think on mass as a as a whole um working to connect with our mother in that way learning what it means to truly give and for her to take with no with no expectation or judgment also helps to teach us and show us what that means to receive, to work to healing that divine feminine within ourselves. Okay, let's keep going here. Oh, yay! So 10 of Pentacles comes out next. This is still what you don't see coming, what's in the dark. This is all you ever wanted, you guys. I do feel this is a pretty big, this is a pretty big deal. And the difficulty, like I said, we'll get to the obstacle, but I feel like the difficult part is like taking these last couple of steps you're exhausted. You're battered and bruised. Um, it reminds me of a time not too long ago where I um, had a little bit of a, <laughs> a chat, a little bit of a yell to my, my own spirit team, um, just feeling so exasperated, like I needed to see, I needed to see some Ten of Pentacles. I needed to see that what I was doing made any sense at all. Um, because we can get into those places, right? And I was shown very shortly after that, yeah, actually what I'm doing has a great amount of um, effect or it does matter a great deal. And I feel like that's the process that you guys are going through too. There is this period where you're in where you're like, 
I can't even right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm at the end. I don't have anything in my tanks left to push me forward. And I feel like um, there's something about this, like the final release is what I'm hearing. There's something about connecting you guys and just saying like, hands up, hands in the air here. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. I'm hearing I give up, but not more surrender rather than like giving up. But there is something that you're being asked to like, to have that kind of attitude to like, well, I guess like at this point, I don't really, it doesn't matter what the outcome is. I just want to feel stable or I want to feel like I'm um, centered as one. I'm seeing like three different forms of this person. Like they all need to come into unity. 33, you guys are looking for this harmonious connection. Um, I feel mostly within, within yourself. And these layers are coming into congruency, but it's not comfortable. It's like these various pieces, I'm seeing like that, the birth canal, the tunnel with death and rebirth. Um, I feel like there are multiple experiences that you're working to come into a singular moment in right now. And it's uncomfortable, it's crunchy. But keep going, okay? Your legacy, your destiny awaits. Ultimate material and spiritual abundance. So your um, obstacle in this period here, Ace of Wands, <laughs> starting again. So, um, and this is like getting excited about starting a new journey too. Tapping into flow, into that space where you have access to creativity, divine flow. The obstacle here is like, I'm just seeing this dipping, dipping your toe in this river like you're seeing the river moving and it's very fast and so um you're looking at that like well shit <laughs> if i jump in there I'm, I'm toast but it's actually i'm being drawn back to this that warm feeling on my achilles heel actually jumping into that river um provides you with this embrace that you've never felt before Ooh. <laughs> so you're being asked to fully jump in Ooh, yeah, I have all the chills on that. Give it a shot, you guys. Seven of Pentacles comes through here. I'm still here in the obstacle. So this is being patient, <laughs> waiting to see the fruits of your labors. You've already planted everything, and that's, I mean, the meditation, the message has been coming through. There's already, this is already set in motion. There's already something that's happening. Uh, but what's not happening yet is maybe the seedling breaking through the soil. You can't quite see it yet, but it's there. Oh, it's there. It's there. Um, the root system has to develop first, right? Before it can break, break the surface uh, and survive. So back to, back to grounding here, you guys, connecting with Mother Earth. There's something about pulling from her right now. Every, there's everything about pulling from her. It feels like a very crucial component right now. Okay. All right, so animal spirit messages, and then we'll move into the extended. This one ended up being a little bit longer, but uh, I missed you guys, like I said, so you're welcome. <laughs> okay, spirit, what do we have here for Scorpio? Additional messages. This is the wild unknown spirit oracle, the phoenix. <laughs> well, well, well. The phoenix, you guys. You are rising. You're in this process of um, rising like the phoenix. And I don't, uh, I don't mean that like, you know, welcome, this is the divine phoenix rising tarot. Um, the phoenix rising, so something has burned down. The phoenix can't rise unless they've been burned down, right? I think we, we get really um, excited or, or warm, fuzzy feelings towards the rising part, but we may, we may not totally take into consideration that the only way to rise is to first be burned down to dust. <laughs> and that, um, I feel like that's the process that you guys have been going through, maybe even for quite some time. You're burned, you're ready to rise, and that's happening, it's coming, it's happening. It's not even that it's coming. What I'm getting is like, allow it, allow it to happen, dig deep, Find that connection with the earth, ground down, because this is a very powerful energy. And you need to be grounded um, so this doesn't fry your circuits. Mm. 
they're tender right now. <laughs> Thank you, spirit. Okay, you guys, I love you so much, Scorpio. I hope that this was helpful. I'm going to move into the extended now if you want to join me there. There are links in the description of this video. Again, you can check out my website if you're interested in personal readings. Um, please like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell if you did enjoy this reading. I do also accept uh, donations, you guys. My Cash App and PayPal links are in the description of the video as well. If you do feel called to support the channel in that way, I truly appreciate it. It, it goes a long way. Um, so thank you. Thank you guys for supporting this channel in that way. I love you. I love you. Scorpio, please take care of yourself and enjoy the flight is what I'm hearing. Enjoy the flight. Okay. All right. Take care. Be well.